it's me again. And continuing along with my educational segment, I had my friend who was on a drilling rig for some time. He is going to narrate a couple of videos. They're very short videos, under two minutes, that we found. Uh, this was actually for the company he worked for. <laughs> they were like company onboarding videos. So he will narrate these videos for you. One's a drilling rig, the actual drilling rig. The other one's a service rig, so they're not doing drilling. But you still need the driller to operate the, the spindle, the actual spindle part. But you get to see, like, some parts of the rig, and he'll narrate it for you, what they're doing, and who they are. Since the last educational video I had, you know, Texas Drilling History Part 1 was a hit. I am working on Parts 2 still. It's going to go more into, like, the fracking history and when horizontal wells came into play. The first horizontal well was 1929, by the way. And that was in Texas. Uh, you In the movie, There Will Be Blood, there are no horizontal wells. They're all vertical wells. Uh, the fact that he talked about drainage on that one part of the Brady Tract uh, at the end of the movie was because there was the earthquake had, you know, shaken the oil loose and the ground was so fractured it was easily able to be drained. So that's that's why they were all vertical wells and they will be blood. There was no horizontal wells, uh, historically speaking. Fun fact. But horizontal wells didn't really become a thing until the mid-80s is when they actually started coming about. The first one was 1929, but they didn't really take off until the 80s because there really wasn't quite as a demand for oil and the need that we have now. You know, the 80s came around a lot of plastics. I was an 80s kid. It's the age of plastics and information started coming about. There's a lot more polyester clothes. It's demand for oil went up. Fuel, lots more people. Lots more cars. And then, of course, fracking didn't come about really until 2003. But I'll go into fracking as well. But these videos, of course, are educational just on the stance of a rig and having somebody experienced here narrating that for you. Since everybody likes education and information here, which I think is great. So enjoy the videos. Is it, is it plugged? Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll pull up your audio. So let me go to. Yeah, because that's what you just need is the audio recording. Yeah, yeah. okay. So. All right. Uh, <laughs> drilling rig. Yeah, POV. <laughs> yeah, see this Derek Kane guy. See, this is the guy. Yeah, he's always up. He's usually up top whenever they're tripping pipe in or out, you know, is. That's the guy who has to line it all up, and he'll, he'll pro hopefully it'll show in a second where what he has to do, like actually climbed up there and strapped in. And here's the driller, the guy with the super cush job where he just hangs out. Look at the dual coffee mugs. Oh yeah. <laughs> See where I was, it was it was all like just chugging Monster Energies actually. Um. <laughs> all right, yeah. See, he's up the ladder. He's actually now up at the. Up on the deck or whatever. I remember there's some stupid slang term that they had for what it was when you're up there. I see. And then so all those little uh those little tong looking things, those little, that's where you line up all your pipe in. Okay. So yeah, you'll see in a second he's gonna. I mean, if either they're gonna be pulling it out or putting it in the ground. So we'll see in a sec. It looks like they're gonna be pulling it out, judging by how there's not a bunch already up there. Um, fun fact: all these old rigs that this is all rusty up here. So half the time there's like holes in these floors. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that looks very corrosive. Yeah, and then oh see oh see yeah they have all the ropes and yeah, stuff. Oh, sour oil, sour oil is corrosive. Oil itself isn't corrosive. Yep. Oh, there's the uh, mud. Yeah, and that, so let's see what they're doing. I think they're yeah they're gonna start pulling it out of the ground and stuff. Seems like that's yeah the drilling mud. There's grease. That's your lube. Yep. That's your, that's your okay, no, so yeah, there's so that's your pipe ferrule. So that's gonna be. All the time when you're throwing tongs and all that, that's what you're connecting to, right. whether you're pulling it in or out of the ground. So that, that was my job right there, the floor hand. That okay. sucked. One of your jobs, yeah. Yeah, it was floor hand, and then I was helping the motor hand because that's the, what they wanted to train me up to. Um, all this pipe they pull out, they usually pull it. It's three joints at a time that are all stacked up. They actually don't disconnect every single joint. 
Um, gotcha. So it's three joints at a time. And each joint of pipe's like, what, 34, 32 feet? Something like that, yeah. Something real long. It's because... No, they're, they're, they're putting pipe down. See, so yeah, he's lining okay. it up. He has the, His is the easy job right now. This is what I'm talking about. See, because this is easy. You just kind of walk it over, I go it up to the next joint. Now that it's hooked up, the... Uh, this is what, now, if they're lined up, then the uh, driller, he just spins it, and it'll just tighten it in. And then, uh, depending on if they have what's called, like, the iron um, roughneck or whatever, which is, like, an automated thing for the tongs, that will tighten your joints together on its own. If not, you still have to tighten it with tongs or do the really old-school thing. Some guys will throw a chain around it and let the tension of the chain. Yeah. Yeah, the, thro the throw and chain. That stuff's terrifying. Yeah, that chain will. Oh, yeah, see, there he is up there. Yeah, I see the joints you can see. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, it's, like, it's usually, like, three in a row. And that's it. Dang. Oh, Dang, they don't even show it going down or nothing. Do they have anything else? Let's put... Yeah, those are crazy, too. Is let's, it... let's go to that one. Service rig POV. I love how they don't even show, like, them doing anything Service other than moving some joints around. Like, they didn't even put, like, one. Yeah, they don't show the super dangerous stuff. Yeah, you can see those are the big. Okay. There's the, yeah, there's, there. that's the, uh, let me see. Is that a, that's one of the iron, that's an iron roughneck. That, that basically works as the tongs on its own. Okay. These service rigs, these are, these are crazy. And there he goes, he's tripping it down. Look, disconnect the uh, tongs on your little right there. Yep. You swing it out, let him bring it back up. I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're tripping piping. Yeah. Watch out for the This pipe. is so. This is this was the easy part right here. Was just when you're tripping pipe down. It's easier. Yeah. Yeah. Because look, all you got to do is just kind of like gravity's gonna want to make it hang directly over where it needs to go. So you just kind of guide it. You and can let it swing. Tongs. Yep. And yeah. And again, see, it's gonna it's gonna tighten it up, and then watch they're gonna push down. You just connect. Oh, there's that weird noise that all the pipes make, the meow, meow, meow noise. He's running it down. The only thing that sucked about when you're doing, like, the floor hand stuff over here, when you're when you're tripping pipe down and all that, is uh that right there, that you'll get hit in the head so quick from, like, just all these pipes getting thrown around and stuff. No, I, I just straight up slipped and fell, but... Oh. No, these will, uh, there's a couple guys out there where they got hit and it'll shatter their hard hat, but oh. it'll save your noggin at least, so. Yeah, at least that's what it's for, right? You let that yeah. Shatter, not your and again, there's, the, yeah, again, tighten the joint. See, this looks, this is a better video. This is at least more realistic than, you know, right. <laughs> the whole 20 there's, seconds of actual work they yeah, showed in the those, other one. Those tanks, or is that for oil or gas? Those, okay, so those, I, de it depends. Um, I know a lot of them they were pumping oil into. Some of them have, uh, so, and then. The mud pumps themselves, they have the backyard for that, which yeah, is just yeah, a big open pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the big And then, pit, so yeah. those usually, I, and some of them also just have water in them. Like, because a lot of company, you know, I mean, you're in the middle of nowhere. They ship out water to you. They have, it's. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I think my next video I'm going to post will be about the next bridge and the addresses. And I'm going to hold off a little bit longer on what to expect at the meeting, the three scenarios that we can expect at the special dividend meeting until that date's announced. I don't want to start talking about things and throw that out there. Let's wait until the date for the meeting's announced. And then we can go from there. Now, it might be announced and then happen the next day. I'll have the video ready at any rate, uh, what to expect. Okay, guys, I will see you soon. Goodbye.